hello students welcome to engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that determine the magnitude and direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis of the resultant force acting on the ring at o if f a equals to 750 newton and theta equals to 45 degrees right so we have to find the resultant magnitude of f a and f b and we have to find the angle of the resultant with the positive x-axis is right so again we will apply the head to tail rule to find the resultant right so if i draw f a vector so let's say that this is our f a vector and it is making 45 degrees with the y axis is right and let's say if this is my let's say this is positive x axis this is positive y axis is right so now f b f b is making 30 degrees with the x axis is right so if i draw a horizontal line here and if we aid f a and f b by using the head to tail rule so then we have to draw the f b from the head of this f a right so what i will do is that i will draw f b vector which will be making angle 30 degrees right so let's say that this is that f b and its magnitude is 800 newton right so let me write that this is f b its magnitude is 800 newton and f a magnitude is given which is 750 right so i will write that this is 750 newtons right this f b is making 30 degrees with the horizontal or positive x axis right and this f a is making 45 degrees here right so let's say that this is that 45 degrees so the resultant of both of these will be from the tail of f a to the head of f b right so this will be the resultant so let's say that this is the resultant right so now we have to find the magnitude of the resultant and we have to find the angle theta of the resultant which will be measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis right so it is it is given in this statement that we have to find the direction counterclockwise from the positive x-axis let's say that this is that angle theta right and let's say that this angle is alpha right so now is we can see that we have to find the resultant r right so if if this angle is 45 and this whole angle is 90 degree if this whole angle is 90 degree so then this means that this f a is making 45 degrees with the positive x axis as well right so if i draw a horizontal line here so if this f a is making 45 degrees with this positive x axis so this means that this f a is also making 45 degrees here as well right so now as we can see that this angle is 45 degrees this angle is 30 degrees and let's say that this angle is beta right so now from here as we can see that 45 degree angle beta and 30 they are supplementary angles that is their sum is equal to uh, 180 degrees right so we can write that 45 plus beta plus 30 degrees this is equal to 180 degrees and from this we can write that beta equals to 180 minus 30 degrees minus 45 degrees so from this we can say that beta equals to 105 degrees right so here i can write that this beta angle is 105 degrees so now as we want to find the resultant magnitude so this f a magnitude is given and this f b magnitude is given and the included angle is given so we can apply the cosine's law so if i apply the cosine's law so then r square will be equal to f a square which is 750 plus f b square which is 800 minus 2 into 750 into 800 cause of the included angle which is beta right so cos of 105 degrees right and uh, since we want to find r so then we have to take the square root so when we take the square root so then the resultant equals to 1230 newton right so this is the resultant magnitude so this r equals to 1230 newtons right now since we want to find this theta so if we find this alpha angle so as we can see that this alpha plus theta is equal to 45 degrees so we can write here that alpha plus theta is equal to 45 degrees and since we want to find theta so then this theta is equal to 45 degrees minus alpha 
So in order to find this theta, we have to find this angle alpha, right? So to find this angle alpha, we can apply the sine's law. So I can write that sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side, which is FB, which is 800. And this will be equal to sine of beta. Beta is 105, right? So I will write 105 divided by the magnitude of the opposite side, which is the resultant, right? So resultant magnitude is now known, which is 1230, right? So we can write that sine of alpha equals to 800 sine of 105 degrees divided by 1230. Or we can find alpha by taking sine inverse, so sine inverse. So from this, alpha equals to 38.5. 92 degrees right now since we know this alpha we can find theta by using this equation so then this theta equals to 45 minus alpha which is 38.92 degrees so from this theta equals to 6.08 degrees right and this angle is measured clock uh, counterclockwise right so this is that angle so the resultant magnitude is 1230 and it is making 6.08 degrees uh, with the positive x-axis, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.